Hi guys, Tony K here, and today's tip is how to add hyperlinks within Word docs. I'm using Microsoft Word 2008 for Mac, but if you're a PC user, don't despair. I checked it out on Microsoft Word 2007, the PC version, and the concepts are exactly the same. You'll find that the dialog boxes are slightly different, but you should be able to figure it out. So let's get right to it. I'm in the midst of writing the six-part history of water skiing, and part two is a 115-page Word document. Now that's pretty long, so I want to make it easier to navigate around by using hyperlinks within the document itself. Most people know what hyperlinks are. You click to get redirected somewhere else, usually on the web. But you can also hyperlink to another spot within the same document. And this example is for a table of contents. We want to click on a hyperlink somewhere in our document and be redirected to another location within the same document. So here's how to do it. I've created a separate Word document that's going to go step by step to guide the whole process. I've got a table of contents here. And what we're going to do with this is we're going to link the table of contents to the actual sections within this small document. Step one is going to be to create bookmarks. Bookmarks come from originally Books, little pieces of paper inside. These are the places that you go to, or in this case, link to. Think of these as a target or destination for your hyperlinks. That's step two. We're going to create all the hyperlinks, and these go from any highlighted text to any bookmark. Step three is to do a test run. We want to try it with just one or two of the bookmarks and hyperlinks first to get the hang of it, you might also want to think about practicing on a smaller document so it's easier to navigate around. So here's a brief description of how this is going to look when we're done. This table of contents right here is going to become a bookmark because we're going to want to link back from the chapters within the document back to the table of contents. Each one of these main headings is going to become a hyperlink because we're going to want to click on these and have it take us to the chapter or section within the document. If we scroll down a bit and get actually into the meat of the topic here, these would be equivalent to the chapters within your document. These are also going to become bookmarks because these are targets. These are the destinations that when you click on the table of contents, you're going to go to. So let's create our first bookmark. It's going to be right here, the table of contents. Remember, we're going to be linking back from the chapters in the document to the table of contents to navigate around much easier. I've highlighted the area that I want to turn into a bookmark, and I'm also going to copy it for the next step. Come up top to insert, click there, and then down to bookmark, and we get this dialog box that pops up. Now because I've copied over here, I can just paste right here, and it comes up table of contents. Now there are certain rules that you have to follow along here. You can't have any spaces. So you can either jam them all together, like this, or what I like to do is just put an underscore right here. And what's going to happen is, when you know that you have a good bookmark name, this ad will light up. You can't use characters or numerical symbols. There's a few things that you can't do. So when you're ready to go, go ahead and click on Add. Let's come down and create our second bookmark. We're going to go right here to create bookmarks. Highlight again. I'm going to copy that again. Up to insert. Bookmark. I'm going to paste in again. Now if you notice down here, this box is not available to click on. So we've got to jam all the letters together. I'm going to go with the underscore right there, delete a space, delete another couple spaces, and now it's allowing me to add it. So now we've got two. Notice the one from last time is sitting right there waiting for us. So now we want to create the hyperlinks. In this case, we're going from the table of contents to the actual chapters inside the document. So this is going to be our first hyperlink right here, create bookmarks. We highlight the section, right click. Then we get the drop down box here that says hyperlink. Now, if you'll notice here, we've got the link to. And in here, you've got to put the actual bookmark character for character exactly how you want to have it. 
The important thing though is it has to be preceded by a number symbol. Now you've either written it down or you can get it by a second method. I'm going to show you the second method right now. So let's cancel out of this right here. We want to link from this in the table of contents down to the actual chapter down here. So we'll come up to insert, bookmark, and there's the one we're looking for right there, create bookmark. So when we click on that, it highlights it up here in bookmark name. Now we'll copy it right there and cancel out. Go back to create bookmarks. We're going to turn this into a hyperlink. Right click, click on hyperlink. We've got to have the number symbol first. Remember that. So we'll place that in right here. Now we'll paste what we just got from create bookmarks. If you see, it's going to link to create bookmarks. There we go, right there. So click OK. Now this ends up being a highlighted blue. And when we click on this, it should take us down within the document. And there we go. It took us, the cursor is blinking right exactly at the beginning of, of what we highlighted before. So let's do that process one more time. Okay, I want to do it for the second one. I'm scrolling down to create hyperlinks. Before I do that, I want to come up here, insert, bookmark, and I want to copy that, remember, which was hyperlinks. We just wrote that one in. Copy that, cancel out, go back up top to the table of contents where it says create hyperlinks, highlight, right click, hyperlink, got to put in the number symbol paste in or type the exact bookmark name and click OK. So there it is again. Now this will take us down to create hyperlinks. So I've gone ahead and created all the bookmarks for the entire document plus the hyperlinks for just the table of contents. Now it's time to go back down and link from the chapter headings back to the table of contents. I think it's easier to do it this way and get them all done at the same time. The first step is to copy the name of the bookmark so we can paste it into the insert hyperlink dialog box. Insert, bookmark, and here we've got table of contents right there. We'll copy that and cancel out. We're going to scroll down to the actual chapters or headings within the document. Now we're going to turn these into hyperlinks. So we'll highlight the text right there, right click, hyperlink, remember You've got to hit the numeral symbol there, paste in what we just did for table of contents, and then click on OK. So that one's turned into a hyperlink that will take us back up top to the table of contents. Let's see if it works. I click on it. Sure enough, it takes us back up top there. So now we'll go to 2, create hyperlinks. It takes us down there. We're all set up to go into this one. Highlight it, right click, hyperlink, we're going to hit numeral symbol and we can just paste table of contents in there again and then go to OK. So there we go. Once again, it's working for us back up top to table of contents. Just continue that through all the way and you're going to be totally hooked up with your table of contents and be able to have your readers easily navigate your document. Don't forget you can download this document from the link in the description box and I hope to see you again real soon.